We have a lot of great bars and restaurants in New Orleans, a lot of history. There really wasn't anything that sort of showcased the historic nature of our bar and restaurant scene. You know, I remember the very early days when uh, some of the greats of the industry, such as Dale DeGroff, Jared and Anastasia Miller, and about 46 other people to show up for cocktail hour in the back of the carousel bar at the Hotel Montlion. And they all had such a great time, it was like, hey, we should do this again next year. So the following year, we had a couple of dinners, and then the event has just sort of grown over the year to, you know, what it is today. Now people show up the Thursday before, and they stay until the Tuesday after. What started out as a simple media event to commemorate the first anniversary of a walking tour has now turned into arguably the world's premier event for the cocktail industry. 2006 was uh, obviously it was the first year after Katrina. While there was no doubt in our mind that it was going to happen, you know, we're only a small portion of it. We need people to show up. You know, that year was just unbelievable, the attendance. As a result of that, we hired our first three full-time employees. We expect that we'll have about 18,000 people this year for 250 events. It's a wide range of panels, everything from, you know, the history of a particular drink or spirit or, uh, you know, the science of shaking. Then the tasting rooms get started. In the afternoon, some of the walking tours begin, and then pool parties start to break out. In the evening, we like to have fun. So in addition to learning and sharing, uh, we're here to have a good time. Typically, uh, I start off my uh, mid-morning on champagne. Early afternoon, probably doing shots, and then uh, for the evenings, I convert to cocktails. And then I go to bed. The nightcap's a bottle of water. <laughs> People come here and when you experience New Orleans, I always say it's the only city that has truly has mojo. I think Tales has created a, a meeting place for folks from around the world to come and kind of share their best practices, their ideas, their enthusiasm, their passion, and for everybody to leave with a little bit of that from each other. Roasted peanut butter. Cool. Now I'm going to take the Moscovado sugar. This is actually natural sugar. It's just pure, uncut goodness, no molasses here. Exactly. Then we add in our peanut brittle. Also, most importantly, our salt. 